Alright, let's start by taking a look at practice EOC question number one and it says what is the complex conjugate of the square root of negative 400 plus 17? Okay, while well, reading this question there are some key words that you have to pay attention to and one of those is conjugate. Okay, and we'll come back to what that means later. Alright, one of the another thing that we should pay attention to is that imaginary numbers should always be in the form of A plus BI where the A is the real number and the BI is your imaginary portion. Okay, so now we need to try to simplify this complex number. So we have the square root of negative 400 and we can break that down by using the square root of 400 and multiplying that by the square root of negative 1. Whenever you have a negative, you can always take out the square root of negative 1 because that's what's going to make it the imaginary portion. If you refer to your reference sheet, it also says that i equals the square root of negative 1. So we now know that the square root of negative 1 really is just i. So this portion here is going to now become an i when you plug into your calculator the square root of 400 the square root of 400 is just going to give us 20 and just like when we multiply variables in math class you have 4 times x that gives us 4x we multiply 3 times x that gives us 3x well 20 times i is just going to give us 20i So the whole square root of negative 400 just became 20i. And then we have the number plus 17. Well, what I wrote earlier was that when you're writing complex numbers, they have to be in the form of a plus bi. So the real part has to be first, and then the part with the i or the imaginary portion has to be second. So we just need to switch this around and change this to be 17 plus 20i. But we aren't quite finished yet because at the beginning of this problem we wrote down or we underlined the word conjugate. Well conjugate just means that you need to change the sign of what's in the middle. Typically when kids do this problem they'll get to 17 plus 20i and they'll be so happy that they solved it and they'll be so happy that their answer is there. However, that answer is not the correct answer because the conjugate means that you need to change the sign of the plus of the 17 plus 20i to a minus. So now when you change the sign your final answer should be 17 minus 20i which is really your correct answer for this problem. Okay, so again, you can go ahead and when you start working through this problem, once you realize that your 17 was first, you could have gone ahead and marked out choices A and B because neither one of those could be right because the real portion was a 17. And then once you work out your conjugate, you end up getting that you should have a minus 20i.